Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Nassine. I do keto vlogs. I'm a full-time working mom of four kids. I have two cats, a crazy floofy fluffy husky, and this is my keto journey. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, and if not, that's okay too. So uh, I got some new masks. This is my little um, leprechaun mask. I am Irish, so... I can wear this whenever I want. Well, I mean, anybody can wear it whenever they want. <laughs> I did get a couple other masks too, but I don't think I have them on me. Oh, I have this one. I don't really know. This is like like um, feathers. And oh, I like this one a lot. This is my dragonflies. And then I have these heart. These are my masks. The thing I like about these ones is they have these little pieces that you can tighten around your ears. My friend is so good at making the masks. She does a very good job at them. So we have that. And then what's going on? This is where I tell you what I'm having for lunch. And I was going to bring, I had it prepped even. I was going to bring some of the chili dog casserole that I made yeah, uh, the other day. However, I didn't grab it this morning. I don't know why. So I brought um, a Too Good yogurt. I did bring a spoon today. And I have a pumpkin keto bar from perfect keto so that's what i'm having why is that in there so that's what i'm having i did bring a game fuel zero i don't think i'm gonna have that today i don't really feel like i need it i had two cups of coffee uh great value i look like i'm bald promise you i'm not my hair's in a bun i had two cups of coffee this morning the great value triple chocolate and the great value toasted coconut with some half and half and pure delicious i am getting my water in i'm not where i'd like to be by lunchtime i would like to be pretty much done with the first 73 ounces i also look like i have no eyebrows today what is going on and i'm also very distracted i am almost done with the 73 ounces but not where as close as what i would like to be so i also brought my belt boosts and i'm gonna just i don't know why i brought the whole shaker bottle but i'm just gonna keep this in my office and i'm gonna add some of these in there they got like root beer flavors and all different kinds i did not know that they had like root beer that's interesting to me so i'm probably gonna do this apricot pineapple built boost that sounds really good and i'm gonna mix that into my water i feel like when i have something like this in it it's a lot easier to get my water in so and they're caffeine free i'm gonna add these in they have all kinds of vitamins and immune boosting things so if you do want to use my discount code for that you can to get these or the broth or the bars a lot of people have been using them a lot lately actually which is crazy because nobody's used it in so long and then suddenly there's all these orders flying in for built bar they did reformulate so maybe that's why people are more uh you know crazy about them <laughs> so we're gonna bring that in we're gonna leave that inside and we're going to use that in our waters to help us get through drinking that second big 73 ounces of water. I didn't pee as much as what I thought I would for the second half of the day. Like when I got home from work, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be peeing all night. But I didn't. And I was only peeing like every hour at work, which I guess that's kind of a lot. But my pee was, this sounds weird, but my pee was just very faint, almost clear. And that's good. That's what it should be. You shouldn't have like dark colored pee. <sighs> Okay, anyways, that's enough. I'm going to have my keto bar and I'm going to have my two good vanilla yogurt and I'm going to turn my car on because it's a little chilly out. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous of the things that are going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is inauguration day and I'm just nervous. I know here in Michigan we've had some people, some protesters at the state capitol with guns and that's their right, but it's still, it's very, it's just unnerving, you know. Back a few months ago, if you follow the news at all, our governor, there was the, an FBI, like, discovered that there were plans to kidnap her. So, I mean, this is, it's just very crazy after everything that happened, you know, in the beginning of the month. It's just, it's crazy. So, I'm going to go eat. And what are we having for dinner tonight? I think we're going to have steak for dinner tonight steak and some green beans that sounds good maybe some cauliflower mash i think what how's that sound yeah you want to come over yeah come on over for dinner we'll have steak and uh cauliflower mash hey guys look at what i got all right so i used my 
my points and I got, this looks gigantic. This is an extra large. This is why I like getting the extra larges from them. They're so big. I like how long they are anyway. So I got this one, the red velvet. I got, I have all the shirts. I have the Jacto Lantern. It's January. I don't care, I have all the bone shirts. And then I bought this hoodie on the back and then on the front. So I was using my reward points with bones and then I got these three flavors in K-Cups. Highland Grog, Macadamiac, and Banana Foster. Three of my favorite bones coffees. Oh, got your bag. That's mine. That's mine. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, thank you, Linky. Uh, about not even a little bit, just over halfway done with my second one of these. Picked up some steaks from Country Market to make for dinner because I forgot to take them out of the freezer. And yeah, I wanted some steaks tonight. So, gonna start dinner. All right, guys, here's my steak. I'm gonna cut me off some of this and save some of it for tomorrow. This is how this cauliflower mash chipotle cheddar it's uh four net carbs this is one serving that i made this is by high key this is what it looks like and i did taste it and it tastes really good i also wanted to give my final review on the cookies that took me so long to test and i apologize for how long it took to test them do i think that the cookies may have impacted my blood sugar levels um it's possible however Unfortunately, I think I tested too soon after eating. I should have waited longer. I should have just eaten the cookie by itself. I do plan on purchasing some more cookies so I can test them the proper way. I don't have any more to test because the cookies were so good that my kids actually ate some of the cookies. So I can't recreate the test until I buy some. However, my favorite one is the birthday cake. I'm only gonna buy the birthday cake. The other ones were good. It's just my favorite is the birthday cake. I think it's really, really good. I do have a link that I'm going to leave linked below. I don't know if it's going to save you anything. I can't remember. It is a link to the website though. So you can check it out and try it for yourself. I will tell you it's delicious. It's moist. It's good. It's even better frozen. You can eat it straight out of the freezer. Will it impact your blood sugar? I cannot be 100% sure because I did not do the test correctly and I don't want to mislead you. However, Everybody is different. Certain ingredients can affect different people. So that doesn't mean that if it affected it for myself, that it wouldn't, you know, it would do the same for you. You would have to test it for yourself. So if it sounds like something that you wanna try, definitely, definitely try it out. If not, pass. But I highly recommend it because it actually is a really good treat. And I think if you put some like vanilla keto ice cream on top of it and you warmed it up, ah. Oh, I'm gonna go eat my steak and my cauliflower mash and I'm gonna close out the vlog. I got some editing to do tonight and I will see you guys 